Wherever you go in the world, you can always find a Big Mac. McDonald's have places in virtually every country in the world. And it's the same good wherever you go, always made to exactly the same recipe. So we could use that idea to compare prices of Big Macs in different countries. This is called the Big Mac Index and was first published in The Economist magazine as a way of comparing different currencies to see if they're overvalued or undervalued. If the Big Mac Index shows that a burger is cheaper in Poland than, say, in the USA, this suggests that the Polish currency is undervalued when compared with the US dollar. To understand why this is so, we need to understand one of the most basic laws of economics, sometimes called the law of one price. This law states that we expect an identical good to be sold everywhere for the same price. If it were not so, people would buy the good where it's cheaper, which will increase its price there. They'll sell where it's dear, and in doing so, depress the price there. This process, sometimes called arbitrage, leads over time to the same good being sold everywhere for the same price. The law of one price is easy to test in one country. All we have to do is compare prices of goods. Is the price of fuel the same in different markets? Is the price of a Big Mac the same in different towns? But what if we want to compare prices between, say, Poland and the USA, where different currencies are used? We can still do so by looking at international currency markets, where traders exchange currencies at some rate of exchange depending on the supply and demand for the currency. We can find out, for example, the rate that they're exchanging dollars for Polish slotties at any one time. Using the law of one price, we would expect a basket of goods in Poland to be the same as the same basket of goods in the USA when converted at the going exchange rate. Suppose that goods are generally cheaper in Poland. We would expect people to be keen to buy goods from Poland. Cheaper prices in Poland should cause people to buy Polish currency in order to buy their goods. The increase in demand for Zlotys will cause the value of the currency to rise until average prices of goods are the same in each country when converted at the new exchange rate. The Big Mac Index gives us a neat way to see if prices in one country are higher or lower than another country and whether a country's currency is in equilibrium. We use the Big Mac as being representative of a whole basket of goods. Of course, we wouldn't expect people to fly to Poland just because they can get a Big Mac more cheaply. But assuming the Big Mac is typical of prices generally in the two countries, we would expect currency prices over time to adjust if the prices of goods are different. How do we measure the extent to which a currency is undervalued or indeed overvalued against the US dollar according to the Big Mac index? We can do so by our understanding of percentages.